Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can resolve installation fail, could not copy file issue while installing a plugin. So basically, we will be fixing this problem in this video. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now for this video, we have created a demo website and we tried to install a plugin here, but it had some issues. To show it, let me log in to the WordPress dashboard. So we are in the WordPress dashboard. Let me go to the plugins. You can see it is completely empty. Anyway, go to Add New and try to install the plugin File Manager. This is the plugin I want to install. Install now. So it is showing the error installation failed, could not copy file. Hence, this plugin cannot be installed. If I try to install another plugin, then these work. So only this plugin cannot be installed. There could be many reasons for this. It could be file permission, cache, host, etc. Anyway, to resolve the issue, log in to your cPanel. If you are not sure about the cPanel, please ask your host. You can also use FTP. Anyway, go to the file manager and access your website files, which are usually under public underscore HTML. So here are all our website files. The plugin is usually inside the WP-Content folder. Open it and open the plugins folder. Here, you can see this folder already exists, which is causing an issue. It seems like the file permission is causing the problem. Usually, the file permission should be 0755, whereas this has 0644. To change, right-click and change permission. Make it to 755. So it is done. The plugin should be installed now. The other option is simply right click and delete the folder. So the folder is gone. Let's try again to install the plugin. Let me refresh this. So it is working all good. Let me also activate the plugin. So it's activated. By the way, this plugin can give you access to all your website files. So for other plugins, you can use the File Manager plugin as well. Click here. So here are all your website files as you can see. To access plugins, go to the WP-Content folder. Under Plugins, simply remove the folder causing an issue. So, this plugin should resolve issues without accessing the cPanel. Anyway, we hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.